Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. I wanted to talk about BMW key programming and there is a really good video uh, by Transponder Island about a, a course uh, it's on the internet there it's really cool they explain a lot about BMW key programming to date I have only uh, been programming BMW keys with this device here the AK90 uh, it's so good actually I bought two of them um, it's basically about 90 bucks US and it actually does work. You put your, your key, you basically pull out your EWS, hook onto it, push read, read, read the key, read the thing, and then write, write. Uh, the cables on here it comes with pretty bad instructions, like not much at all. There's your cable there, so you pull out your EWS. One of these points should be marked. That does not look like very good quality at all, but looks like it will work. All this, uh, you can see it. See all that brown stuff around there? One of these should be marked with a zero point, or there should be a, a notch there. So that basically plugs in here for your EWS 2 and 3. And then for your 4, you can plug in with this one right here, just into that section there. It comes with a disc, comes with a USB cable. To date, I ha I've only programmed three or four of the BMWs. We don't get a lot of call for it. Um, many people need an extra key, uh, but they generally see a locksmith uh, shop. We don't have like a key cutting shop, so we don't actually do a lot of, um, you know, additional keys, which is a bit of a shame because we'd get more use out of it if we could. This is one of those. Um, videos. I'm, I've basically done a whole heap of videos uh, recently about all the products that I've bought in the hope to make money off. With automotive it seems that you can just keep throwing money at it time after time after again. And whether or not you make money depends on your clientele, depends on the clients that come come to you. You know, um, one week you might get 10 people wanting Toyota Toyota keys or BMW keys next week you might not or next month next year you might not get any so whether or not you're going to see a return for your investment is one of those questions a lot of people like to ask so for the this one here the AK90 90 bucks I've used it two times and yeah it's made its money and it worked this one here I read all the instructions about it and um, they made sense to me at the time and then slowly by slowly if you don't use it all the time you keep forgetting what this does what that does what the trick is all these little things now with BMW I did read with the AK90 there's some um, chips you don't want to plug onto because it'll actually fry the chip and then you're going to be up for money so there are some pitfalls along the way um, so yeah a lot of reading a lot of research this one here um, good for adding keys um, it says that it can actually go through OBD so I bought this in the hope that I wouldn't have to pull the the um, EWS controller box out but on a lot of times when I after reading and reading and reading it says you should pull it out anyway and then use another separate adapter here cost another 200 bucks US to actually um, to do that uh, no sorry 80 about 100 bucks US for the adapter this unit right here was about um, 900 US when I bought about a year ago and the box yeah that's real dust because I haven't even used it once uh, we bought it for the in the hope to make uh, more money and start uh, doing more BMW keys but we haven't had that much need for it at all so it's just yet another product that's going to sit up on the shelf that cost um, you know when you put it all together probably about a thousand dollars US and we bought two of these ones because uh, the this one this one here, bought two of them. Uh, one um, it seemed to work pretty well, then we lost the software, so we bought another one. We thought, well, since that worked so well and it was so cheap, we'll buy another one. This one here, um, we've only got the one of, and this is by X Horse uh, MVCI interface, radio power USB on the back. MVC interface support blah 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 made in China so yeah it is good to have all these tools and it is good to have them when you need them but will you actually make money off them that's the question uh, certain locksmiths um, like myself we see a new tool we see something see an opportunity to make money so we go out and purchase the tools but whether or not you'll actually get a return on that whether or not you're actually going to use it is two totally different questions so that um, video once again um, there's a really cool video from Transponder Island show you how to use both these tools there's one other tool I don't have um, which they seem to have but this tool was meant to be uh, the one that um, would do all that so these two tools here um, together about a thousand dollars US and unfortunately we get little bit of you very very little use I haven't used it once this year I haven't used it 
actually last year it was a year before that I used it so yeah when you start investing all this money you have to ask yourself um, is it going to be worth it is it worth taking on those cars what sort of support you have all of both of these only come with the little disc come with a little disc sometimes there's good information on it sometimes there's no information on it there are pitfalls as well where you can do things wrong or you might cook an ECU or a computer um, and that's some of the things that if there's no help no support no literature you can kind of get yourself hooked up into um, i'm lucky i do know somebody who works on bmws and they have all the diagnostic software but still if i if something goes wrong it's going to be coming out of my pocket it's funny how the customers are you know if something goes wrong they want every last cent they want everything fixed you know you butte this that and the other but when it comes time to selling them a key and you're saying oh 400 500 all these type of figures and remotes and all and it starts adding up they're all very stingy kind of poor people you know oh it's an old bmw oh this that and the other but when um when it comes time to telling them look i'll use my tool and if something goes wrong you know it's going to be costing you know several hundred dollars to get a new unit code and put back in your car you know they they don't understand the risk um and that's why you do have to sometimes charge a little bit more money when working on european cars uh, because some of this technology that we're buying if we were to buy more expensive tools we could be talking um I mean, I priced up some of that, uh, uh, what was it, the a AVDI stuff, and they wanted up to $100,000 for a complete unit, $30,000 for one that just does um, some car keys and things. So if you want to go for the expensive tools, yeah, you're going to get more literature, probably more support. But the thing is, if I can't pay this off, how are you ever going to pay off you know, the U-Butte stuff. So that's why we're all looking at um, China, which tools do work, which tools don't work. So this one here I'm going to put down as unknown. If you've used this tool and it's brilliant, this is an X-Horse one, please leave your comments down below. If you've got any more information on it or um, if it's one to avoid, please leave it down below. Or if you've bought one and you're just not using it and it's sitting on your shelf collecting dust too, let me know. Um, I think a lot of other people would probably fall into a similar situation. This tool here I'm going to say does work. I'm going to give that a thumbs up. Um, look, it does work for you know a lot of the older BMW, and they're the type of ones that are kind of losing keys now. Um, so you know they're the diamond head type remotes. Uh, so yeah, they're it's well worth having for the 90 bucks. And at least if something somebody comes along and they want one, I can do it. But it's one of those things you don't do them all the time. So you spend probably two hours reading all the literature on it, reading what you can. Half of it's not in English. Half of it doesn't even speak proper English. Like uh, I, saw, I saw a funny one the other other day uh, with this sensor light. This is just something I, I picked up and I was reading through it. And um, I was reading through, reading through all the settings and all the rest. And basically it comes up with to reduce human waste do this and turn this and I thought well, what, what are they talking about human waste this is sensor light so basically yeah uh, what they were what they were getting at is basically to reduce human misuse uh, or something along those lines but the way they word it to reduce human waste I mean this is a sensor light I can't imagine any human waste being you know coming out of this or or anything but that's the way they word it so sometimes uh, the way they word it too you can't understand it you don't know what they're saying if this is that that is true replace that or you know it's just sometimes not as clear and as simple as um, uh, uh, some of the other machines like advanced diagnostics or uh, some of the other ones that give you really good examples anyway so that was uh, BMW unfortunately I don't have cars to plug them into the software is not going to do us much good we don't have a thing but um, just an idea on the investment and whether or not it was worth it so at this stage i'd say uh, yeah that one was worth it and that one wasn't and that's a thousand bucks i'm gonna go put them back on the shelf just want to give you a sneak peek at them thanks for watching